Hey guys, I'm Noel and this is my first Photoshop video. Here I'll be showing you how to create a simple clock. Okay, first we need a new layer. So let's click here. Perfect. And now there are two ways to start this. Either by using shape tool or marquee tool. So let's use marquee tool. And normally this is an ellipse tool. But to make it a circle we can just hold shift. As you can see the width and height are the same now. Okay, this should be a good size. We can move this selection using poly lasso tool. So let's drag it to the center. Perfect. Now using gradient tool, we have to give it a bit of color. I've already picked out some colors here, but if you want to change it, you can just double click. Okay, let's take it a bit bluish. Okay, okay again. Now we can swipe from right to left or left to right while holding the shift key to make it perfectly horizontal. Nice. Let's do it again. Good. Now we have to do this with another circle and repeat the same procedure. So let's take another layer. Okay. And another circle. This time make sure to keep it slightly smaller because this is the inner side okay nice and this time while using gradient drag it in the opposite side to which is drag first to give a bit of 3d effect nice also while changing tools Click on Ctrl D to deselect. Now let's make the inner face of the clock. Let's use shape tool this time. And we have to make this even smaller than the other one. So let's see. Let's move this inside. Perfect. Now let's make the units on the clock showing the hours, minutes and seconds. For that we use shape tool again and right click to change the type of shape. Let's take rectangle this time and make a small one here. Using the zoom tool we can enlarge certain parts to make them to see more clearly. Now let's drag this here. And let's try to play, place it right in the center. Nice. So, so that it's visible, let's change the color also. And maybe make it black. Good. Now here comes the tricky part. First let's put this on screen. Inside the clock we have to make a lot of precise measurements. So if you are having trouble calculating the exact center point you can use the simple trick i do first go to line tool and make two identical lines which are exactly 90 degree apart in angle okay let's select this let's align it until it's perfectly aligned in the center Perfect. And now let's copy it using Ctrl plus J. And turn this exactly 90 degrees to make it horizontal. Now this will help us to make our measurements more precise. And we can always hide these and remove these after our work is done. So now for the main part, we need to put all the denote we need to put all the signs for the hours and minutes. So for that we need to click on the shape tool. I mean on the shape that we have here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, this is fine. Using Ctrl plus T, we can go into free transform mode. And then we have to come here where there are 9 squares. 
we have to just move the center square here this is the anchor point and this is basically basically the point around which everything rotates or pivots for example uh, for example this is in the center now and if we rotate the shape it goes around like this but we need it to go around the whole clock and that to multiple so for that we need to reset the anchor point so let's reset this and put it right in the center perfect and now in order to make multiple of the shapes in different angles we have to type something specific here for example in this case for the big hands there are around 12 of them there are around 12 for the hour hands and 12 for the hour signs and 60 for the minute signs so for the hour signs in the first case we know that a circle is of 360 degrees so we have to type 360 divided by the number of hours we need by 12 and and click on the tick mark now let's first zoom out now if we hold ctrl plus shift plus alt plus t you can see what happens it duplicates and forms a complete circle you might see that some of these measurements are not accurate but we can always adjust them and make it perfect let's make this slightly smaller as you can see sometimes these things tend to miss a line but it's completely okay because in the long run they are in that there's no need to be that precise Okay, this should be good. Perfect, they are aligned. Let's align this also. Good. Now all we need to do is the same thing for the minute signal symbols. So let's go to rectangle tool again. This time zoom in a bit. And if some of the shapes and symbols are obstructing our work, then we can simply hide them by clicking on the eye here. For example, on this rectangle, we can hide everything this way. Now let's make a smaller one for showing the minutes. Okay, this should be nice. Okay, and let's put the color of this to red. To change the color of shapes, all we need to, all we need to do is press on U and go to fill. Let's make it red. Okay. And all we have to do is do the same thing we did with the R, R symbols. Control T. And this time we have to type 360. Okay, here you can see that instead of replicating here like it used to do before, it turned around on its own. This is because we didn't set the anchor point properly. So let's do it perfectly. Set the anchor point again. Okay. And now come here. Exactly in the center. And this time while typing the angles, we have to remember they are more than the hour ends because there are 60 minutes. So we have to divide it by 60 this time. Tick. And now after zooming out, we have to do the same thing again. Control Shift Alt plus T. And you can see it replicates itself in a perfect circle. This might not be entirely accurate, but we can always adjust this. Okay, I went a bit overboard. Perfect. And now let's bring this back and put this on top. 
so you can see it very much is starting to look like a clock now but now we need the hour minute and second hands so for that let's use the shape tool and make three different types of hands okay for the hour hand let's make something simple here we take this let's color it black to make it visible then magnify it a bit here now we can distort and alter the shape of this according to our liking for that we need to go to control t retransform mode and here by right clicking on the shape we get some options so let's choose perspective perspective basically makes it taper like an arrow so let's make this part bigger and this part a bit smaller okay perfect and let's make this a bit shorter i mean smaller to fit to full screen we all we need to do is just right click on right click and click fit to screen okay this is too big so let's make it a bit small and put it perfectly here now in case we need the hour hand to turn around there is one simple trick we can do first let's magnify this then click on the shape this is similar to something we did before where we have to reset the anchor point again okay so it's on this end here let's reset it in exactly the middle and now when we turn this it would feel like we are moving the real hands of a clock nice so let's make some two more hands for minute and seconds respectively and align them so as you can see guys i have made two more hands for minutes and seconds and align them accordingly now there is something else that is missing those are numbers and for that all we have to do is click on text tool and type here okay so let's type one for now and let's make the font something that is more normal on a clock maybe something like this and let's change the color also to white or maybe in this case let's make it purple okay and using the move tool we can also move this and perfectly align this okay this should do and now in order to put all the numbers around the whole area we have to do the same thing again okay so first let's magnify this align this perfectly go to free transform mode by control plus t then change the anchor point right to the center of the clock perfect and then again 360 by 12 and let's go so now all we have to do is obviously change all the numbers from 1 to 12 and also invert some of the shapes and align them perfectly okay guys as you can see i have adjusted the numbers and also changed their angles so now it looks better and now we can also add something in the center of the clock let's go to ellipse tool make a small circle not too big and let's put this at the exact center perfect and let's drag this right up at the top so that it comes out on the top perfect let's make this circle i don't know some good color maybe this 
नाइस ओके सो एज यू कैन सी आर क्लॉक इज ऑलमोस्ट कंप्लीट लेट्स गिव इट अ कूल डिजाइन नाउ सो वी कैन अपलोड सम डिजाइन फ्रॉम द इंटरनेट एंड आई ऑलरेडी हैव वन ऑफ देम सो लेट्स यूज दैट गो टू फाइल प्लेस एम्बेडेड here and click on place first of all let's adjust this in such a way that the whole circle comes on and fills the whole area perfect and now there are two ways we can apply this one is by using the marquee tool again making a big circle and then clicking on control plus j to make a copy of it the original design is in lost but we get a copy in the shape of a circle which we simply need to adjust perfectly Let's make this bigger. As you can see this looks pretty much realistic. And there is another simple way to do this. First let's undo all this. Okay and for the other simple way all we have to do is first let's shut this off and click on this circle I mean this ellipse let's put it at the top and as you can see this image is here so all we need to do is clip this image and for clipping normally we have to use the background image on the top and the image which we want to clip on top of it on the bottom I mean the shape So all we have to do is right click here and do clipping mask. And as you can see this is this makes it also in the perfect shape. Perfect. Now as you can see we got the pretty much the same result by from the other method. So as I said we can use whichever one of these methods we want. Okay. Now let's add some of some effects to this circle to make it look more natural. First, may let's make it a bit smaller. Okay, nice. Let's go to effects here. then click on satin this basic this is basically like a inner, inner design or maybe we can try inner glow okay let's change a few things size not too much nice okay this looks good okay these images are a bit big so let's just shrink them a bit perfect now to make this a bit more realistic we can also add a glass layer and for that all we need to do is make another circle using the shape tool and this time add gradient on it in this way black to white and set the opacity at 50 and then just set it on top of the clock let's make this a bit smaller
okay and now let's change the color a bit more let's make this 25 here also and let's make this in a diamond shape so it seems like a shine now we can see that the colors are behaving the opposite way so we can simply switch them like this and let's increase the opacity of white to 35 perfect let's adjust this a bit more so now all we need to do is remove these two lines line 1 and line 1 copy so as you can see guys we have made a really nice clock with just a few steps and now let's just do one last thing let's go to the background and give it a good color as well maybe some red color red base color to give it a good contrast okay let's put this at 50 and this looks nice And so guys, we made a perfect lock using very simple steps. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button. And I also have another gaming channel. So if you wish to support me, link is in the description. Thank you so much and bye bye.